I'm Jill Woodward. I'm at the NIH in Bethesda, Maryland, and I'm speaking with Masaya Baba, who's a staff scientist at the National Cancer Institute. Masaya, what BHD project are you working on currently? I have been working on um, uh, follicular tumor uh, protein function uh, uh, to find the binding protein and uh, post translational modification. And also, uh, uh, I made a BHD knockout mass model and the FMIP1 knockout mass model. And uh, currently, I'm focusing on uh, analysis of FMIP1 knockout mass model. And you led the development of the mouse model for BHD syndrome. How has this been helpful in BHD research? So far, we have uh, reported two mouse models. One is a uh, kidney specific conditional BHD mouse model, and the other is a uh, heterozygous knockout mouse model. And uh, um, kidney specific knockout uh, showed a very dramatic phenotype in a uh, very short time, like. Uh, so uh, they develop huge uh, kidney, like uh, more than 10 times heavier, and then died of uh, renal failure in up to three weeks of age. So um, because of dramatic phenotype and the uh, short lifespan, I think that model is useful to, for the drug uh, screening. And uh, for heterozygous uh, mouse model, that model uh, mimics uh, human BHD syndrome, uh, which produce a totally same uh, kidney tumor to the human. So we think uh, that model is also useful for um, drug screening and, uh, yeah. What have been some of the difficulties or challenges that you faced in working on this research? Yeah, uh, so uh, when I started BHD research in March 2003, uh, because the BHD protein follicle is a totally new protein, so uh, almost nothing is known about that protein. Uh, follicle doesn't have any functional known functional domain or any homology to known protein. So uh, I ha had to do everything which I could do. So like uh, starting the identification of endogenous protein or uh, subcellular localization or post-translational modification or so uh, I I tried everything to uh, which I could do and then then try to get the binding protein or making knockout mass model and then finally I got the binding protein which uh, which is FMIP1 and uh, which is also a totally new protein and then didn't give me us any clue to understand that function but the uh, so working on totally new protein is uh, hard and uh, challenging, but uh, I also enjoy it and uh, it's uh, fun and uh, I think rewarding. So the um, so difficulty is working on uh, follicle. <laughs> yeah. And can you tell us what the next steps are for this project? So um, next step, so uh, we are getting several clues from our mouse model and then uh, so uh, Based on that, we want to clarify the actual molecular mechanism, how BHD work as a tumor suppressor, or how those uh, phenotype is caused in mice. And then I think uh, that will help uh, us to understand the uh, uh, mechanism of BHD syndrome. And then uh, our ultimate goal is uh, based on those understanding, find a new uh, effective therapy for the kidney cancer. Yeah. Talk about other diseases or syndromes that might overlap with BHD and how your research might play a role in understanding these syndromes. Yes, I think uh, there should be some overlap uh, in terms of function and uh, um, also um, BHD syndrome is uh, uh, classified as a hamartoma syndrome so, uh, uh, which include uh, uh, tuberous sclerosis complex, or uh, Poitiergas syndrome, or uh, Cowden disease. So, uh, interestingly, all of them are uh, involved in uh, mTOR pathway, also the uh, energy sensing and uh, metabolism. 
So I think uh, um, uh, there should be some overlap. Also, I think uh, polyclin should have uh, more uh, important proteins than we expected, I think. So um, analysis of polyclin may contribute to understand the uh, further understanding of the uh, kidney cancer, maybe uh, other type of cancer, yeah. What advice would you give an early stage researcher? What's been the most important thing you've learned about the research process? Although it might be just my research style, but uh, uh, I think one of the most important things is uh, move your own hand. Of course, you need a uh, um, strategy and a plan based on your working hypothesis, but uh, you will not know the outcome until you test uh, uh, for yourself. So, to me, that's uh, one of the most important things in research. How does mutation of folliculin lead to BHD syndrome? Most of the mutation found in BHD patients uh, predict a uh, loss of function of uh, BHD protein folliculin. And uh, um, in kidney tumor, we see the second hit mutation or LOH in the other allele. So, uh, so uh, I think uh, loss of function of folliculin protein, complete loss of function uh, of folliculin cause BHD, uh, I mean kidney tumor in BHD patients. I don't have enough uh, evidence about the uh, uh, lung cyst or fibrofolliculoma if uh, they really caused by complete loss of function or not. So yeah. Um, can you talk about what you were working on before you got into BHD research? I got uh, training as a neurologist in Japan, and then I have seen many patients uh, with uh, uh, kidney cancer or some other urologic cancer. And then, so that motivated me to do research, and then I got the PhD course, and then I, first I started uh, my uh, research in uh, von Hippel-Lindau protein uh, analysis, and then uh, which is a uh, tumor suppressor gene, and then loss of that causes uh, kidney cancer also. And then after I got the PhD, uh, uh, I found actually uh, I attended a VHL meeting, and then I uh, met a researcher from NCI, and then heard that they are almost uh, cloning the new tumor suppressor gene from BHD syndrome patients. So I, I was very excited about that. And so uh, I applied uh, as a postdoc uh, in NCI. Where do you see the BHD field in five to 10 years? So I think BHD research is developing very fast these days. So. Um, I think uh, we will figure out the molecular function and of BHD protein and FNIP1, FNIP2, and then um, maybe in 10 years we will figure out how BHD syndrome, uh, uh, the molecular mechanism of BHD syndrome, and then I hope we will find out the uh, effective therapy for BHD syndrome. Masaya Baba, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you very much.